I use ChatGPT every day to make games and in this video I will show you some use cases of ChatGPT and game development, how you can use ChatGPT to boost your game development workflows by providing specific feedback, providing some references and why you should use ChatGPT to become more efficient at prototyping. So you can use ChatGPT to write the gameplay mechanic code for any concept that you have. For example, in this, I want to recreate the drawing mechanic and I have asked ChatGPT, I have defined my idea specifics, uh, like what kind of control should be and how the drawing should work. So in return, it then generates me some code that I can copy in Visual Studio and uh, integrate it into Unity. So it becomes very easy rather than me having to set up the line renderer, you know, manually calculate all the storing of the points in the list and taking the player input and everything. I also created a simple sandbox mode or a level editor mode for my Squishy Cats game in which the players can drag objects from UI into the scene and make their own level. So for this chart GPT was quite helpful as it created a whole system of grid and managing the prefabs and the objects that the player can use to spawn in the level. As you can see, it becomes very easy again and it didn't take me more than 30 minutes of experimentation to implement this. Adding features like these become quite easy to integrate in your game as they take very less time to implement and you might not do it otherwise because maybe it is just too complex. It also helps you to solve some mathematical problems. So for example, I was trying to recreate a game in which you have a circular path and the objects have to move around that path. And there was a lot of calculations involved relating to angles of the circle and circumference and you know placement of the objects along with the merging mechanic. So all of it became quite tedious to think of. But when I delegated it to ChatGPT, it was done in less than a couple of hours. So the game originally would have taken me anywhere about five to six days to complete if I work four hours every day. But in reality, it took me around seven to eight hours to get the core gameplay mechanic done and to polish the game. As you can see how simple the game is yet, because of the calculations, it would have taken me a lot of time. I also generated a version of the famous watermelon game, completely using ChatGVT, including the code and the 2D assets. The game also helped me earn $10,000 by distributing it to different web portals. And if you wish to learn how that works, I've made a video about it and put a link in the description so you can go and watch it. One of the biggest problem in making free mobile games is constantly adding different SDKs and trying to integrate their code within your own code system. So for example, in this, uh, I am trying to integrate the app love and max SDK, but they have a complex code document. So I just copy pasted it into ChatGPT. I copy pasted my own ad manager in ChatGPT. And I asked it to somehow use the app love and max code and put it within my own script. And it does it so well that I didn't have to type anything by myself. So it manually integrated the SDK within my own script. And I just have to copy paste it in Unity and everything is set and done in less than two minutes. So if I would have done that manually, it would have taken me at least 15 to 20 minutes or maybe even half an hour and it saves a lot of time again. This is my favorite use case of all time uh, using ChatGPT to debug your problems and errors in Unity. So you can just click a screenshot of the console errors. You can upload it on ChatGPT. It will understand the problem. It will write some solutions for you and Maybe you write some scripts that can help solve the problem. So you can just copy paste it or try different solutions mentioned by ChatGPT. 
but the great part is you don't have to go to stack overflow or google different solutions it brings all the solutions to you in a single chat so it becomes very convenient there have been many many times when i'm searching for a solution for a problem for hours and just by talking to chat gpt and sharing my code or the project idea it helps me solve the problem in less than say 20 minutes and this is maybe the best use case and a big time saver for all of the game developers out there and this is my second favorite use case that is to write some level editor for unity so level editors are mostly some systems or scripts that allow you to recreate levels or place objects in the levels very easily since i work on a lot of mini games that have maybe 50 to 100 levels and we need to create them at speed and we're at that very quickly so chat gpt helps to create scripts that work in the editor window of unity so you can easily place items you know select their states modify them or even test them within the editor itself in this example you can see that i am trying to create a hexagonal grid which will spawn different types of towers or tiles based on some random spawn rates but i can control these spawn rates within the editor and i can generate these tiles within the editor itself so i can quickly iterate and have a feel of the scene maybe if there's too much of one tile i can reduce it instantly and increase the spawn rate of some other type of tile this helps to iterate faster and create levels faster which ultimately will reduce your development or production time by a huge amount so creating level editor scripts uh, i never used to do that before chat gpt but now i am doing it and it helps me save a lot of time again those were just some of the cases that I have been using ChatGPT for with my Unity game development. But the real question is, can anyone make games using ChatGPT and Unity? Well, the answer is not as straightforward because you need to have some level of expertise in using the Unity editor engine itself and some level of expertise in game programming itself. So you understand the knowledge the logic behind how games are made because you need to constantly give feedback to gpt you need to train it it is like a very good assistant very smart assistant but if you don't know what direction to give it or what path to show it to get the result that you want you won't be able to make any kind of game without kind of working with it together so if you are a great programmer this can help you get better at cutting down your development time but if you are someone who has no idea how to make games it won't be as useful or as helpful and we have done a couple of experiments where we tried to approach chat gpt as a new noob developer and it just takes too long and after a while the chat starts to hallucinate so it's just not worth reasons why you can use chat gpt in your game development process and it really comes down to writing the code faster so if you want to really uh, write some complex code maybe some grid management system or some player state system that you want to delegate it to chat gpt you can do it very easily or you want to explore some new capabilities maybe you have dreamt of some game mechanic but it is a bit difficult for you to implement because you don't know how to implement it or it is just taking too long and you're a bit lazy so you can again delegate that to chat gpt to uh, explore new ideas or new capabilities and the last one being to experiment faster so the faster you experiment with your game development ideas, with your game ideas, the faster you can know if this game mechanic, if this gameplay will be a good fit for your game's concept or not. If you want to switch some things, you can easily switch things up by asking ChatGPT to, you know, 
improve it or just change some stuff around at the end of the day you really just have to experiment a lot with your own game projects and with using chat gpt so it's not a piece of cake you can't generate a game in minutes but it is rather a whole process of back and forth interaction and giving it feedback you know being as specific as possible and there are a few text to game ai tools in which you can just type in some prompt and generate a game but their current state is just not up to the mark so i would suggest not to spend too much time on those until they are a product that actually works which is maybe a couple of years in the future but until then i will use chat gpt with unity and a couple of other game engines like play canvas and godot to make more games for the web and yeah thank you for watching the video if you found it useful insightful if it helped you learn how to make games with chat gpt do leave your feedback in the comments and yeah i hope to create more content around game development for you guys